930. Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you, Ian. Well, roughly 800,000 students across Minnesota are getting ready to return to the classroom tomorrow, and many of them in facilities that are not equipped for this kind of heat. In St. Paul alone, more than half of those schools are not air-conditioned. In Minneapolis, parents there are being told, go ahead and keep your students home if you're worried. Fox Lines' Courtney Godfrey joins us live now from St. Paul with the very latest. Courtney? Yeah, good evening, Amy. As you heard Ian just say, tomorrow it's forecasted to be in the low 90s. Not hot enough to cancel school, but hot enough for district officials to issue a warning. This says kids will be welcome back to some toasty classrooms. It's the last day of summer and many families are enjoying their last hurrah. Ready for the start of another school year. We've been looking forward to this day for a long time, so we're really excited for it. Love your kids, but ready to see them go, right? Absolutely. And while there are your usual first day jitters, I kind of really don't want to go, but I still really want to go. It's the lack of air conditioning that's on everyone's mind as temperatures continue in the 90s. My teacher said that, that it gets really hot in their classroom. In Minneapolis, there are 10 schools that aren't fully air conditioned. You gotta deal with it, I guess. Including Roosevelt High School on the south side. The old brick building kind of, you know, keeps it nice and hot in the summer. District officials urging teachers to close the blinds, turn off the lights, and limit the use of heat generating technology. There's probably like two rooms with AC, so a lot of the teachers like take their classes to those rooms, but you know, there's too many classes to fill those up. In St. Paul, students at Highland Middle will be returning to a major HVAC upgrade that started over the summer as the district continues to prioritize investments in cooling systems. But with more than half of St. Paul schools still without AC, the district tells parents it will be offering students more water breaks and identifying cooling areas. This, as many say, it's better than the alternative. I'll take this over winter any day of the week. Yeah, I'm with you. I'll take this over winter any day. Uh, districts are encouraging students to wear lightweight, light colored clothing. And remember, even if your school is air conditioned, if your classrooms aren't air conditioned, the buses are not. Reporting live in St. Paul tonight, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9. All right. Thanks, Courtney. You just have to.